your points out there. So it's like, you know, you know what? Try to enter as much. We got a, we got a lot of tournaments in the Summer of Smash going on. And definitely Hyrule Saga tomorrow is going to be one. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the link that you've all wanted to see. This is T coming out from Japan to face KonKon. I think you guys remember him from Civil War coming back strong with the red link. He's going to fight KonKon on Smashville against the Suiji. What do you think T's game plan here is against KonKon? I mean, it's definitely the way that we're seeing T start off right now. He's doing an excellent job utilizing T. Uh, wow, I love that option. Knowing that KonKon might have gone for a drop down uh, aerial mo attack. He went for the up tilt, then the up smash, just to get more percent there. And that that is a really good option to choose because Kronkon is one of the many players who loves to land aggressively. And he has the sword, has the disjoint to patch out Kronkon when he tries to throw something out. Yeah, and, and right you now he's on the platform trying to get away from KonKon. And maybe continue. Yeah, and you can see it definitely in T's game plans we saw earlier. He actually patiently waited for KonKon to come back on the ledge, waited for that forward tilt to actually come out. Dips below with that really fast tether grab just to get away from that uh, Luigi Cyclone. And he manages to get that falling up air. Man, that beats out air dodge several times. And T now on the winning side. Tell me, Ozzy, what's KonKon's game plan at this point falling from behind? All right, KonKon's big uh, game plan right now is not, not throwing as many uh, uh, aerials and hitboxes as he's been throwing out because he's been taking so much percent for this. And even though he air dodges, he needs to find a way to get in, into T's space at, with Luigi. And as you said before, with Luigi's tracking, it's just so hard. And he finally gets the stock with the Cyclone of very low in the blast zone. And definitely punishing T for dipping a little too below there with that nair. If he actually would have gotten it though, Kong Kong would have been in a very difficult position to be below the stage from that below deep. Uh, T is still gonna keep all the composure. Gets that grab down throw, and you love how you, you can see it in T's game plan. Goes for the uh, goes for the quick up air, and then he immediately drags himself down with a fast fall, so he can actually get the most of the hitbox because the hitbox is actually very lingering, and it actually beats air dodge several times. Um, you can still air dodge away from him, but it's very rare that you can actually get out. It's super weight dependent on that point. At that point, it just doesn't become a true combo. One of the things I want to see T do a little more against KonKon. Uh, is actually used the Hylian Shield because KonKon has been deciding to approach with Fireball. Every time he's thrown out a Fireball, he's been approaching. He's been running up to T. Mm -hmm. And if he uses the Hylian Shield, he doesn't need to drop his, his Bubble Shield. Yeah. Right? He just walks up to KonKon and he can punish him just for running in after the Fireball. As we saw right there, dude, he definitely told him, you know, you're not even throwing out Fireballs, you're just coming at me, gonna go for the quick up tilt. Mm -hmm. Bye. Let me get my game point on the board. I've talked to several links. It, it's because I'm actually staying at the Link House, and shout outs to my boy Arrow for actually, you know, inviting me to stay at the Link House. Um, it goes around back and forth. You know, who is the best Link? It can be individually. Um, in some opinions, you know, it's it's T first, then Caesar, then Cat. Cat is actually here. Cat is uh, one of the best Links from the Brawl days as well. Cat uh, is here, and then Arrow likes to put himself also as the fourth best Link. And then we also have Laurel from. Uh, from Germany as well, joining us. Several links from other, several top links from other regions have come together to this tournament to make it to see who's going to be coming out on top. And T definitely no stranger to be at that top level. The heir to the throne himself has showed up here for Hyrule Saga, and he's definitely not going to disappoint. Still having that game lead right now. He's definitely taking a lot of percent against KonKon. KonKon definitely understanding what went down game one. Yeah, and KonKon is actually playing a, was playing a little bit more patiently, and as soon as. It, it, the roles reversed. As soon as T threw out a hitbox, Kong Kong's like, alright, this is my time to shine. I'm uh, going to run in, get my grab, get my easy percent. And as we see right here, he has so much stage control, but he kind of lost it with that, trying, trying to trade with that up tilt with his nair. But it, then again, he, he is doing so well at gimping T. Oh and the bomb God. in the nick of time, one of those things about the bomb, it allows you to get only a second LB, not a second jump. That is the property of the bomb. Coming out in play, gets that nair, pushing out Kong Kong away from the stage. Trying to go for a back air and being extra cautious. I wonder how remote bombs gonna work. Um, I've heard a lot of things. I can't say much, man. Uh, we're still we're still in the E3 build of the game, but that up smash gonna tell you how that works. Getting rid of Con Con, man. Yo, Link, Link is strong. <laughs> Link was actually nerfed. Like, uh, people consider him like a sleeper top tier because he was actually pretty broken. He had a jab infinite uh, pre patch. Yeah. I yeah. remember that. He had a jab infinite pre patch and his down tilt actually had a, an actual hitbox you can die from zero. It was a spike hitbox. Oh yeah, they they kinda they kinda like they, removed that's the spike basically. Yeah, it's very soft and it's a it's a soft spike still, the down tilt, but like back then it was a straight like death zone, you know, you just died. 
All right. Both, feet, uh, both players trying to box in middle stage here. T winning it so far. Pulls out his bomb, does get something set up. He does not get his second hit connected, though, after the bomb. Oh, wow, nice boomerang to pull Kakon in into a frame trap of up tilts. Exactly, and he goes for the up air again with a fastball every time so he can get the most of that hitbox. Knowing that if my opponent does air dodge away from it, if I just drag myself a little bit down, it'll work. Gets that grab, looking for a possible up air. I, he reads the air dodge. I'm sorry, yeah, the spot dodge. Yeah, I'm sorry, air dodge. And he goes for that forward air and he gets rid. Oh, Con Con. T is not going to disappoint with that 2 0 victory. Yeah, Luigi way too light. There was too much percent on him to survive at that percent. And my god, T, T's game plan train, uh, changed throughout the whole set. But in the very end, he, he found his strategy and executed it really well against Con Con. Honestly, um, all, all that boomerang play, all that bomb play, I, I haven't really seen. Any any other links besides like Arrow, Scizor, and T mm -hmm. use Boomerang to frame trap somebody. Exactly. Not only that, I want to go ahead and name that awesome play that we saw. We don't have a replay, but if you're still catching.